Hi, I'm going to show you how to use our Virgo WIP schedule template. Let's start off by explaining that anything that is in light orange means that you do not have to change or modify. It will update on its own. Here under job ID, we've already included uh, information just for your reference. This is where you would add your job ID. Then you can add the job description here. This is where you would add the original contract amount. Let me just give you some numbers just as an example. Let's go ahead and fill it out as we move along. So it's about, let's say we have $1,000 for the original contract. Now the original estimated cost, let's say it's going to be about $800. And that gives us here, uh, as I mentioned, it's going to calculate on its own. It gives us a $200 profit with a 20% profit margin. Next here, if we have any change orders, let's say there's a $600 change order. The estimated cost is going to be, let's say, $500. That gives us a change order profit of $100 and a change order profit margin of 17%. And we have the revised contract, which is going to calculate the original contract minus the change order contract. And then it's going to give us $1,600. The revised estimate cost is going to be the original cost, estimated cost, plus the change order uh, estimated cost. Next, we go into current overages, and this is where we can add as well, let's say just a round number, let's add 500. This going to calculate based on what we've entered here. So revised expected total cost is going to minus or subtract the re revised estimated cost minus the current overages. Next, we have a revised profit, which is going to calculate the revised profit minus the revised expected total cost, which gives us a total of $800 as well. Then we have a revised profit margin, which is going to calculate, again, the revised contract divided by the revised profit, which gives us a 50% revised profit margin. Here, you can add the date received for the profit. Sorry. Here, you can add the date received for the revised profit just as well as you can add the date here. Let's modify that again to date. Seems like it changed on us a little bit. So that's 4-30-2023, we, the actual cost date. You can add that up here. And let's say the actual cost for this, just to give you a round number, let's say it was uh, $1,200. So we have calculated percentage complete, 92% based on the actual cost to date. By, uh, subtracted by the, or divided by, I'm sorry, by the revised estimate cost. So if we've already uh, spent $1,200 and the estimated uh, revised estimated cost will be $1,300, then we've already completed about 92% of the project if we've already got this far. Actual percent completed, let's say we have uh, actually have 90% completed, then we have the contract earned to date, which is going to calculate the actual percent that's completed times the... Let's see here, all the way at the front, times the original contract amount. Okay. That will give us the contract earned to date based on the percent completed and the original contract amount. Then we have the contract built to date. Let's say uh, we build the thousand to date, just to give you an example. And then that's going to read here our over under build. So we have $100 here which is based on the information that we've already inputted. And then we have $180 profit earned based on everything that's already been calculated. And that's how you would use our Virgo WIP schedule template.